Hello, Stephen Bulger talking about photographs in the gallery. And we're in my office and uh, next on the list is Diana Pizzatelli. I'll just get out of the way here to show you this collection. Oh, sorry about the plant. Um, the series is called Koja, a Slovak word for skin. And this is the culmination of a series that she did while an artist in residence in that country. And um, pretty typical of her practice. Uh, the photographs look like they could have been taken almost any time. And it appears to the viewer that this is an archive of photographs that were somehow unearthed and brought together, uh, laid out in a sequence that implies a narrative. Um, and I think that has more to do with our need to make sense of things. Um, probably truer now than they have been in the past, but um, she has a lot of different interests, as you can see, people, places, uh, animals. Using a lot of, these are a couple of Polaroids, uh, gelatin silver paper. She's used 19th century materials, uh, some of which that she makes, um, and some that she unearths, like similar to Alison Rossiter that, uh, in the case of this series that she actually found uh, some photographs or I think they were given to her, uh, some photographic papers by the landlord um, of the place that she used as a residence uh, while she was an artist in residence. And um, I think there were boxes of papers from the 1960s that had been unused. So she put them to great effect. Give you a bit of a taste of these. All but the Polaroids are part of an edition. However, the edition can be quite confusing for people because she'll use the negative uh, no more than five or 10 times, depending on the size of the edition. However, um, each one varies quite a bit because of the way that uh, she prints, um, also the way that she crops. Um, the, two from the same edition could be side by side and the viewer would be surprised uh, that they're considered the same edition. So a lot of these are also available individually. She puts them together sometimes in smaller sequences, but because this project included a few uh, Polaroids that we thought it would be great to keep uh, this set intact. So that is the complete set of a series called Koja. I met Deanna when she was uh, just graduating from Ryerson. I was uh, one of a jury of people that were tasked to go and look at work, um, decide, well, a number of different prizes, but one best in show. And I was really knocked out by her work. And uh, happily, it was a unanimous decision that we all agreed that she was best in show. And I think that was almost 10 years ago now. And uh, we've been showing her quite a bit that she was one of the inaugural winners of the New Generation Prize uh, that Scotia has provided with the National Gallery of Canada. Um, hopefully the Arl Festival this year, 2020, goes off according to plan because she is also uh, going to feature in their uh, uh, Discovery exhibition, the same exhibition that Meryl McMaster was in last year at Earl. So I encourage you to go online, take a look at the website. You can see more of Deanna's work. Um, she's quite tireless and again, very evocative photographs. And to me, they just look like it was a group of pictures that someone found somewhere that there's a very beautiful connecting link between the photographs. Like for me, her practice seems to straddle this interesting zone between, let's say, Alison Rossiter and uh, Yamamoto Masao.